like it's the last day of my life. Love be the local, we live in it right here. Yeah. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Skinny Ankles. We're back at it again, but today, you're today. It's conference day, baby. Let's go. Let's see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. Let's go. Also, go Bradley. Go Bears. <laughs> Peace. Anything for the vlog, bro. <laughs> huh? You have to be mad. Nice. He's a freshman. He's a freshman. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go. Oh, 
Alright, what's up everyone? So now we're back real quick. Captain George. Um, so basically what happened was I actually ended up running a it's a 426 split. So it's a split, not an actual official time obviously. Um I'm so happy, I I'm happy with that. Honestly, I'll take it. That's like basically a four second PR for me from uh converted time to like a, a flat track. Um Ed ran this twelve hundred What's it called? Andre the 800 and Peyton the 400. Honestly, I'll take it. I'll take it. We got fifth place and I was so mad, so mad because I think it was Muhlenberg beat me by about this much, like passing it the last second. But it's all good. You know, that's, I don't know. I, it's the difference between one point, so it's not crazy. But it would have been nice to get fourth. But, you know, we'll take it. Uh, I'll give you guys another update soon. Peace. To what they wanted, though. Marcus, from the oh, okay, oh, I'm in the block. Come on, baby. What's up, everyone? It's Sunday. It's day two of conferences. Let's go, baby. Day one was a success. Um, let's see how today goes. I'll give you guys a sum up at the end. Um, give you all the details and all that, what happened. But... Man, let's go. I have the 4x8 today. Yes, it was an awesome day. Um, bunch of school records actually yesterday. Man, today, today's, let's see how it goes, man. 4x8. Let's go. I'm trying to run. Hopefully, I'm trying to break two. I haven't yet in the 800. Yo, Tyler right there. <laughs> I haven't broken two in the 800 yet. Hopefully, today's the day. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go, baby.
all right all right everyone so what's up i'm here back in my stew no i'm playing this this is just my room <laughs> but anyways i'm just back to wrap things up and i just wanted to start off by saying that i absolutely hate relays i hate relays i always feel so nervous i'm always scared that i'm not gonna like you know show up and do well for my team and you know at least for one of the races this time i actually did well so let's start off with the dmr um i was the the last leg i was the mile leg and my pr was 428 coming into this race 420 on the bank track and i ran a 426.5 split at the at the at the dmr and when you convert that to a bank time it's about a 423 so really i ran what would have been a 423 low on a bank track time <laughs> like what i'm so happy with that like i'm really glad that i was able to you know run a little bit faster right when it counted and yeah i was really excited you know like uh, the, the kid from SWAT passed me right in the beginning and I was just like you know what everyone in this race has a faster mile time than me so I should probably hang on to someone and that's exactly what I did I I tried to hang on to him and my coach told me the same thing he was just, he looked at me and he said hang on to him hang on to him and I was like yes sir I will <laughs> and it just it really paid off and I'm so glad it did um, the one thing that's unfortunate is I did get passed at the very end, like basically on the finish line. I'm not known for having a kick, but it happened. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do. I did try my best to finish it strong, but you know, I was, I was, I was beat, <laughs> but it was just the a difference of one point. So really it wasn't the end of the world. I'm not crazy upset about it, but, uh, next up, let's talk about the four by eight. So what happened was two people in the 4x4 team got hurt. So we had to pull two people from the 4x8 team down to the 4x4. And that was Dylan and Andre. So really both teams were a mix of A and B teams. And yeah, so our 4x8, we weren't expecting anything crazy out of it. So really by the time it was my turn, it was like a pretty big gap. And there wasn't really anything I could do much. And you know, at that at that point, we already had second place locked up. So really, like there wasn't anything I could really do. For example, the gap was so big, I could run probably like a, a 157. Even though my PR is 203, I don't run the 800 often. Even if I ran a 157, I don't think I would be able to catch up to the person in front of me. So my goal at that point was just to not be last. And yeah, I just ran it comfortably. And I probably ran like a, a 210 or so, but oh well, like I knew there was nothing I could do and, and that's completely fine. I'm not really worried about it, but yeah, new season coming up. So really, I'm excited for that. Moving on to the next thing. But yeah, that's really it, man. I'm so happy with the outcome of the Centennial Conference Finals this year, you know I'm really glad that our team was able to get second place. It's been a while, so I'm so proud of everyone and all the work really paid off. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. I'm working on some things for um, summer training, but I have been really you know, busy with work and all these things, but I will try my best to get a couple of summer vlogs in. And yeah, stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, one more thing. So I just got this new microphone, right? And check this out. This is where I sound like using the microphone on my iPhone X. This is where I sound like using my new microphone. That is insane. That is insane. That difference is insane. So yeah. You know, stay tuned for, you know, more professional vlogs, I guess. <laughs> All right. See you guys in the next one. For real this time. Peace.